<laughs> Hello! People, my name is Kale Boss. Hmm? The only boss. <laughs> oh, wait, what is? Ah, have you heard? Wait, do you know that Tap Tap Send is live in Texas? Oh, you didn't know. We went to New York. Now we are live in Texas. So people in Texas and around, all you have to do is to download Tap Tap Send. Yes, Tap Tap Send has become the most unique, secure, and fast way of sending money across the world to your loved ones anywhere. Okay? So download Tap Tap Send on Google Play Store or App Store. And when you're in Texas or around, you just have to put in the code TXGH. What did I say? T X G H and you get ten dollars for your first transaction you make. But yeah, my hammer made it. Texas, you drew huh? Very soon we will conquer everywhere. <laughs> Download Top Top Send now on Google Play and App Store. Top Top Send, it's secure, convenient, easy, and fast. <laughs> The work is the work. If you understand what you are doing, you will never look back at what people are saying to you. If you have focus and you really want to achieve something at every point in time, all your attention, your energies, your resources, everything you put in the work is to make sure you get to that focus. And that is what we are up to here on Samiflex TV. With all our videos, with all our content, we have a mission and we know no matter how long it takes, one day that mission will be accomplished. As we even continue to do that, we also continue to give you the editorial here on Samiflex TV. And once again, Samiflex, I'm seated to do the good Lord's work. You can join me with your comments. You can share. You can subscribe to us. But make sure that you also accept and understand the agenda that we are on. I'm not doing this alone. I'm doing this with Digital Rasta, who is called Currency on camera. Richie Flex is the editor director of our shows. And you out there, I know you are a partner, always coming together to make sure we put out some of the best and the richest content ever that you can think of. I have today's stories to do, but I'm going to be very, very brief on them so we don't spend much time um, on this editorial. Number one, Amrado is a lover of rap. He is a rapper. He's actually the current winner of um, Vodafone Ghana Music Awards, as in the current rap winner, the best rap performance winner of Vodafone Ghana Music Awards. He's one of our rappers like Sir Kodier, Medical, Strongman, Eno Baroni, um, Joe, what's the other guy? Joe, can you help me? Lyrica Joe, yes. He's one of all those guys. And obviously, as the current winner of rap in Ghana, when one of the kings of rap is in trouble, he cannot go without making a mention on it. And today, I can tell you that Amrado is actually trying to um, support his mentor, trying to support his colleague, trying to support his brother in a very nice way. I chanced on a video with Nana Romeo on Accra FM on his program. And I can tell you that what Amrado is saying is very, very simple. I want to watch this video. I'll come back and explain what I think about this video to you. Because as a rapper, as a famous person, I can see he pictures himself in what Sarkodia is going through and he does not want to see himself there. He doesn't want to be in that particular shoe that Sarkodia is in now. 
and therefore sending this message to Sarkodie. Let's go watch it. When I come back, I tell you my commentary on that video. Then we move on to the next business. Comment and say, oh, it's almost like Sark, but yeah. I'm a fault. Yeah. Yeah. What can Sark do? Now, when you say that, you're a trendy, what is it? Pacha, I'm a trendy. As a rapper, I'm 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 a Ubi di eskavita weba bubu majuri no. Yeni na yeni na yeye yeye kwa yeni midi ubi ayi mfunso. Sebi sebi me penasem ena Ivan soso onse wabe movie iwa ibi ano soso me penasem but me problem yena yeye ibi ya online abuse ne adeno yeni soso kana yeni na yeni tena nefo entino with with love and respect I will say say yeni soso kana. Okay. Ena na ubi di abba ubi adi ubi tima abba enti ena yeni soso mpuse yeye kwa yeye kano kwa ano. Your core other aspects of life, so are your two sing. Okay. Uh, you know, we build a brand that will be a ma. You only say, 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 be on any baby when you feelings, but then from so they will need power. You should say, say, 13 years ago, maybe a necron coin. Yeah, and uh, Uti, I didn't know you say, Crana, I will trade the entire according to Yvonne. My name is Satamna Brabonia. Yeah, you all crowd friends on your mind, or to a block you. Yeah, and you know, I wish you might. Obu okra oba no oka so nyem no no eno no se sane chip up to no oba no hwe be man ko hunu bi nte eno so set is abo shin ya but all the same i like said the what can no minia well so in this video obviously amrado is trying to be smart in trying to be smart he doesn't want to condemn either sarkodie or to condemn ivan nelson because the book i am not ivan nelson as much as it has put out some revelations at the same time, the book is also solving some problems. And problems that individuals we go through, we don't have the strength to put them out like that. But Yvonne Nelson has been able to achieve that. She put out this particular video, uh, book and as it stands now, it is addressing some issues. For Amrado to play safe, he can only protect the integrity of celebrities. Including himself, including Sarkodie, including Yvonne Nelson. That's why in this video, he's saying that, well, it took years to build brand. And especially when it comes to Sarkodie, he's taking multiple years to build his brand where he is now. Therefore, for something to just come and crash everything down will not be something he'll be happy about. Of course, he wants to stay safe and he would also want to protect himself in future should he fall into the hands of some of these things. I remember in the same interview, he was asked, whether he has also impregnated someone before or whether he has aborted um, a pregnancy before, Amrado said no. As much as he can recall in all the thinking that he can do in this world, he has never impregnated anything or anybody before. So to him, he's safe. Then they also asked him that, but why is it so hard for celebrities to be using condoms? Amrado's response was a very interesting one. He said, Yes, it is good to use condom, all right. But sometimes, if you have someone that you are really crashing on, someone that you really want to knock, like I want knock, if that person becomes available, it is hard to go put on rubber. Because at the end of being, food is cooked. Eat. You are now going to do what? Just go ahead and eat. That is what Amrado said in the long run. So, he is supporting his brother, mentor, colleague, everything, Sarkodie. But in the same vein, I'm sure when he gets the opportunity, he'll commit the same crime that Sarkodie has committed. That is going raw, resulting in pregnancy, not being ready, and the fact that we have to go in for abortion. I'm rather opinion. He stayed safe, and I loved how he spoke positively about the issue. In other cases, I've seen Shatawale trolling Sarkodie left, right, and center. As to why both of them, or as to why Shatta is doing that, I leave it to him. Because for all you know, I suspect he might even be vibing with um, Sarkodie behind the scenes that I might not know. Because I know, as colleagues, they vibe. I know as people in this business, they have their own game that they play. But with him, he is not making Sarkodie take it easy at all. Giving it to him back to back. 
trolling him and laughing at him. But it's part of their business. So I'm a flex. That can be my business. Let's dash that one and move on to a different business. And let's take a flight to Nigeria quickly, 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 quickly. Let's go do this before we come back. As it stands now, one of the world's richest personalities, Bill Gates, is in Nigeria. Mm. As it stands now. I don't know whether he's left as I do this video, but maybe he'll still be in the country. And it gives a good feeling. Information I've gathered is that Bill Gates is a very good friend to um, Dangote, another rich millionaire or maybe billionaire in Africa. And that uh, they have some good relationship. Uh, even on the day one of um, Dangote's children were getting married, he was there to support him or to show or to grace the wedding occasion. So it means that really and truly they have a relationship going. So while there, he is sure will meet his good friend Dangote and for the grand purpose while he's there. So I checked on his Twitter when a gentleman, like I keep saying, sometimes I want to stay far, far, far away from the cases of some Nigerian issues. But the same people, the same friends, the same viewers, subscribers, and followers of Sami Flex TV will call my attention. And at every point in time, they also want to know my position on these issues. That's a good deal. It's a good deal because, of course, they know my position as a crusader and a supporter of the Ghana Entertainment Fraternity. But they still want me to know what my takes are when it comes to issues concerning Nigeria's entertainment economy. Or better still, the entertainment industry. So when he mentioned me on Instagram... I've forgotten the name. I could have given him a shout. So forgive me. I know he would watch it. Definitely. Um, when he mentioned it, because now AI generated stuff are plenty, I did not believe it straightforward. I said, okay, I can, I can watch a Bill Gates talking and with a voice there. But before you know, it is AI generated. Someone can do this to deceive you if you are not careful. So I wanted to get confirmation, like real confirmation. So I decided to go and check on his Twitter handles because I know he's also Twitter friendly. Most of the things he does, he tweets them. So I went to his Twitter handle and I checked. And I found this. Where he tweeted some 10 hours ago when at the time I checked, he tweeted that, I'm looking forward to joining Bosun Tijani in conversation with young entrepreneurs about the power of science and innovation at Pan-African Youth International Forum 2023. That is Pan-African Youth International Forum 23, hosted by CC Hub and ULB, um, SN, U, ULBS Nigeria. Okay, I'm sure that's what it means. And he actually attached a flyer to that effect. And in another tweet, he said that, I'm very excited to be back in Nigeria. This is my first trip in five years, and so much has changed. I can't wait to meet with some of our great partners and learn from Nigeria's most valuable resource, its youth and more. So I confirmed is that really and truly one of the world's greatest, that is Bill Gates, is in Nigeria at the moment. Now, someone would ask, so if Bill Gates is in Nigeria at the moment going to do his thing, what is my own that someone would go and mention me to come and do what exactly? To suck him from there? Or... Maybe to tell him that when he's from Nigeria, it is not far from Ghana. So in about one hour or something, he can get here. So he should also get here in a private jet. I don't know what the person meant. But when the person mentioned me in their post, I went to check what was there. And the post came with this headline, or captions, rather. When my daughter Phoebe heard I was coming to Nigeria, she said, you are lucky because you, you get to see Bena Boy and Rema. So I had to look them up because I'm so hip, Bill Gates said. And obviously, what are we talking about? We are talking about Afrobeat. In essence, the gentleman wants me to know that even Bill Gates' family, they have been listening to Afrobeat from Nigeria. The gentleman wants to call my attention to the fact that even Bill Gates' family, they know Rema, they know Bena Boy. Of course, it's a good feeling to know that now people who are influential in the West are not even listening to songs from the Western culture anymore. And that is what I saw. Maybe he mentioned me to mock at me. 
maybe he mentioned me to make me look like um, the chase is over because where it has got into, I cannot continue anymore. But when I came in, I saw something positive. And that is why I am here to let the person know that, yes, I saw the video, but if he meant negative, I did not see negative. I rather saw positive. I saw positive because if Bill Gates is coming to Ghana and the daughter tells him you are lucky because you're going to meet Rema and um, Benna Boy, it is so obvious that they are tuned into their songs. It's so obvious that they are following them. It's so obvious that they are really following their sounds and that they would even wish to meet them. That's why the, the lady said, you, you, are, you are lucky or you are excited or you are fortunate to go meet Bernard Boy. So it means that it is also their dream that one day they would also meet Bernard Boy and Rema. I'm sure that's one of the reasons why these guys should be doing more concerts there because prominent people would want to see them. They are ready to pay thousands of dollars just to come and see them. Well, you can also check out a video where Bill Gates himself spoke about his intention in Nigeria and the fact that Nigeria's entertainment economy, from Afrobeat, from the creatives, everything seems to be going well for them. It is good news. But then, listen to this. Of course, uh, being here in Nigeria, I can't help but mention uh, the amazing creativity uh, uh, that goes on here. Uh, you know, Afrobeats from Nigeria are, are popular everywhere. Uh, when my daughter Phoebe heard I was coming to Nigeria, she said, oh, you're lucky you get to go see Burma Boy and Rima. Uh, so I had to look them up, because uh, I'm so hip. Uh, uh, but I also remember uh, the last time I was here, I did get to see uh, David O and Wizkid uh, perform, and I, I was quite impressed with that. Uh, so, you know, my kids think I've, I've come to a very hip place. Um, and of course, the music may be the most visible, but uh, broadly across all cultural areas, whether it's authors or movies, uh, Nollywood, uh, there's some great... Uh, um, work going on, uh, and it's a significant industry. Uh, so that, you know, it's great, uh, particularly here in Lagos, uh, to have that leadership. So across many areas, uh, the, the creativity and uh, entrepreneurship uh, really is why I'm optimistic that despite huge challenges, uh, Nigerians uh, will have a great future in uh, bring wonderful things to the world. Well, um, whatever sent Bill Gates to Nigeria, and like I said, it's not his first time that he's been um, frequenting there, so it is not surprising like that. But whatever sent him there, as much as Nigeria will be mentioned first, Africa would also be mentioned next. And there, Sammy Flex, I feel proud, being an African, I feel proud knowing that we are no more seen as the dark continent. We are no more seen as the people who are living on trees. We are no more seen as the poor people who feed on less than a dollar a day. We are no more seen as such. But rather, we are even linking to the greatest in the world. And therefore, there are potentials here. When you follow the, the conversation in the forum, all, they, all that they are talking about is that there are potential youthful people in Africa that they can tap into to elevate science, technology, and more, and maybe creative arts. So, if the person really mentioned me in that video to laugh at me or to <laughs> take a dig at me, I did not see it as such. I see this a positive move. Of course, I have said it a few times that when it comes to Afrobeat at the moment, forget about how it started, Ghana's contribution and all, at the moment, Nigeria is in the forefront, and I've never shied away from that. Those who watch me, they know. I've never shied away from the fact that Nigeria has taken the leap step. And as it stands now, it is good that they are there, because at every point in time, it will take someone to lead, the rest will follow. But overtaking is allowed. So you guys should just take it cool. So God bless Bill Gates for 
whatever brought him to um, Africa, Nigeria to be specific. Maybe Ghana is also open. Let's see. Our year of return can also bring him here. But I know he's a businessman. A business sense should be pumped into his um, oblagata <laughs> and he, he will come. If nobody pumps business sense into his head, he won't come. Someone should pump business sense into his head. Why he should come here, and I'm sure he will surely come. So once again, congratulations to those who are beneficiaries of this. And let's see what this transfers into the whole of Africa and what we can all benefit from it. Now, to the very last story. Looks like the competition between Benaboy, Davido, and Westgate won't die today. It won't die. The other day when I heard Westgate and Davido were about to play a joint show, I thought we are now going to see some kind of unity. We are now going to see some kind of partnership. We are now going to see some kind of togetherness between the two, even if not with Benaboy. Because according to the video, Benaboy Boy is a new cat. So maybe he would want to play in his league. And, uh, and his league is likely to be with Westgate. But it looks like the beef won't die. Looks like the beef will never die. Looks like the beef leaves everlasting beef. Why am I saying this? The video, once again, is on its interview rounds. And uh, for some time, like I've been reading from some Nigerian trips, they think now, looks like the video is talking too much. What do you want him to do? He has released an album, the Timeless album, which is doing so well. Do you want him to go and sleep and let the album also sleep? He can't do that. He would have to follow the album with interviews so they can do reviews of it. I know one of his uh, hidden intentions is also to be mentioned in the Grammys. Because it looks like his people are getting there. The new cats like Bernard Boy, the Thames, Rumors and things are getting there. So in this comeback, after suffering the death of his young boy, in this comeback, if not for anything, he would want to compensate himself with some wins, including the mention in the Grammys or something like that. And I know this particular move is for such. Now, what I found interesting was the fact that when he was asked to choose between either Davido or Bernard Boy. No, either Whiskey or Bernard Boy. His choice was so interesting, and I would want you to watch this. In this particular video, you'll be given options, two options to choose from. If you don't want to choose from any of these options, you go for a shot. So I'll say you either choose Bernard Purified Water or a sheet of paper. If you don't want any of them, then you go for a shot. But if you want one, you can choose one or you can choose it. When the video was also called to choose between Whiskey and Benaboy, Boy, watch his reaction. To get your shots ready. Yep. All right, ready? Yeah. Tupac or DMX? Tupac. Tupac. Okay. For me. Yeah. Whiskey or Burner Boy? Shot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Hibiki. Martel. Okay, yes. Martel. You, you can say mine's Martel, too. <laughs> I mean, you just yeah, yeah. said it on the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, damn. Uh, Angel, where, where's the Hibiki? Oh, 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 he got the key. All right, Angel. All right, All right my bad. So, yeah, I'll, I'll take the shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you hold, are you holding up the shot? No. Take a shot of, of champagne. Put it in your nah, shot. Nah, nah, I'll wait, I'll wait. I'll take a real shot. You got to take a Martel with me. I'll take a, yeah, I'll take a Martel with you. I'll take a Martel. Blue Swift. And then you got to take a Mama Juana shot. Ooh, what's that? Dominican Mama Juana. It's... Thank you. Come on. This is, this is, yo, to you, brother. Salud. Cheers, 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 cheers. Well, hold, hold on, that was to Wizkid or Burner Boy, right? Yeah, he said mm -hmm. both. Interesting reaction, isn't it? He did not want to commit himself to any of them. He did not want to make any of them feel good. He did not want to make any of them feel superior over the other. So if he would choose this one for this one to look better over the other, or this for the other to look better, he would rather go and boost. He would rather take a shot, get drunk, that he cannot even drive home, but he will be fine. Because he doesn't want to project anybody. And this, once again, has come in a way that some people are offended with him. Or some people are offended at him. And do you know why? They are saying that, so why can't you throw light on one of your own people? Why can't you make one of them shine keke, just for shining sake? Why do you run away from just making one of them look good? 
Just one of them to look good. Even if it's not Benna Boy, who you think it's a new cat, give it to Westgate to look good. No. Meanwhile, earlier he was asked about uh, Tupac and I think the Torres B.I.G. or so, then he said Tupac. So why not Westgate or Benna Boy? Once again, Twitter people who are against him, obviously Westgate FCs and some fans of Benna Boy won't spare the video online. They are after him. Giving it to him wotoporiously. Like the people do sometimes here on this channel. So, I'm saying that the beef culture lives everywhere. The beef culture exists anywhere. It is not only in Ghana that the beef culture lives. In Nigeria now, it is so obvious that their beef culture is even intense than we ever imagined. And as it stands now, we are monitoring to see how this goes. Ever since Whiskey and the video made their intentions through online um, pieces that they will be doing a joint show. We haven't heard anything after. We are monitoring. Are they that cool that the joint show will happen? Or they won't, it won't happen again? Is there going to be a day that some top Nigerian artists will come together and say they are going on a tour like some of us are looking for? Some of us are looking for like the three S to come together and say we are doing a Ghana tour. Like Stone Boy, Shatawale, Sarkodie on a tour. Are we also going to see a day where Bernard Boy, Whiskey, and the video will be on a tour together? Until it happens, nobody should be chasing Ghanaian industry with beef. Because the beef is everywhere. Maybe ours is the colored and salty one, but the Nigerian one is the real beef, a.k.a. Tolu beef. That is where I'll leave this. Everywhere it happens. We are monitoring to check how things go. Until then, let there be calm. They are making their individual monies. They are really breaking grounds with their talent. And as it stands now, Africa is proud of them. Whether beef or no beef, we are proud of them. And we pray that they even achieve more. My name is Sammy Flex. Thanks to Digital Rasta on Camera Richie Flex. Uh, he is the editor director of the show. Until then, I'll meet you in the evening on Showbiz Then. But hey, also remember that Sunday, Sammy Flex Connect, all over the world, you can join us with your real comments. And... On Sunday, we're talking about Yvonne Nelson and Sarkodie's book. One of the topics to be noted down. See you when I see you out of here.